Hi, this is Jeannie from Trendy Tree, and today I'm going to show you how to make this horse head wreath. All the supplies came from Trendy Tree, and we'll uh, post a supply list. Uh, I hope you'll visit us at Trendy Tree. We have all sorts of wreath making supplies, all sorts of work wreaths, mesh, burlap, ribbons, just about anything you can think of uh, to use to make a wreath. And we also have all kinds of seasonal decorations. Um, there's a little icon at the bottom of your screen on the right where you can subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our next videos coming out. And we hope that you'll follow us on Pinterest and Facebook. And we would appreciate it so much if you share our videos with your friends, okay? Let's get started. We're going to start with the horse head in the evergreen color. Uh, this is from Trendy Tree, of course, and it also comes in a burlap. But since we're going to be using some uh, artificial greenery, we'll start, um, we're going to use the evergreen. We're going to start with these um, plastic um, fir type branches. And I'm going to just take those tags off. I'm not sure exactly how many we'll need yet, so I've, I've got like 12 of these branches with me. And then we're going to use this longer, uh, long leaf needle pine for the main. And we'll use that in a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is start with the horse head. And we're going to start at the nose. And I'm going to lay some branches down. And I'm going to just kind of work those in and uh, secure that in the twist. I may have some ends that I'll need to clip off. But the first thing I'm going to do is just start filling in around the nose area. And I'm going to, I want to lay my branches where uh, they'll be brushing this way toward the nose and then down this way toward the body. So I'm just going to kind of um, secure these kind of loosely to start with. And then when I see exactly how many it's going to take, I'll secure them a little more. And I'll secure my ends also. Like I say, we'll have to we'll have to go back and either you know clip these uh, ends of these um, stems or um, secure them better. But I just kind of want to get the layout of the horse head first, so I can tell about how many it's going to take. That's six, so it's definitely going to take two packages. There's six of these pieces to a package, so definitely going to take more than one. And each time I'm just going to lay that uh, end of the pick up under the last spray keep those ends covered up Now, I may have to clip some of my smaller pieces. Um, take one of these sprays and clip out some smaller pieces to cover in around that ear, ear area. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Just cut off a couple of pieces with the wire cutters.
Now what we'll have to do too is go uh, take these uh, pieces that are around the outside of the horse head and uh, secure the limbs so that we get the shape of the head. And we can tuck these twists uh, to the inside once we get completely done. But we're gonna, I'm gonna take some more of these short pieces to fill in around that nose of that spray that I started clipping on. So I want to fill that nose area in well. Now, around this nose area, I'm having to, uh, I want to make that nose area, you know, pretty well defined. So I'm having to tuck uh, some of the greenery to the inside when I secure it. So I'm just kind of bending those ends in. And then I'm going to take the twist and just kind of go up around a cluster. And you may have to take some little tiny floral wire. Uh, we may have to do that when we're done and kind of go back over it in some areas to keep some ends from sticking out so we maintain the shape that we want. Like I say, our twist on the wreath, we can take care of those later. We can, you know, tuck those in last. But I'm going to I'm gonna kind of flip the horse head over and where I've just kind of laid the uh, sprays in, I'm going to look at it from the back side and I'm just going to try to catch those with the, uh, with the twist and secure them in several places. And I may have to use some extra uh, zip ties to, you know, to secure also. Because if you don't secure it in more than one place, probably when you lift it up, some of your sprays are going to slide out. I think the first thing I'll do is just use my twist to secure as many as I can. I'm just working on up the outer edge of the horse head and like I say we'll probably have to go back and add some zip ties to secure the branches more. Oops, see there's two that fell out already. My little twigs up here around my ear. Oh, sorry, you can't see that. But here's my ear, and I need, I've cut a few, I cut one of the branches into some small pieces, and I need to cover that little ear space good. And I really need some floral wire, so let me get that. This is just some green paddle wire. And I really, I want uh, the nose of the horse to be, you know, pretty well defined. So I'm just going to take the paddle wire and attach it 
to the wire, to the work wreath frame. And then I'm just going to kind of wrap it around that nose area so that those sprays won't hang over the edge too much. And you could probably just, you know, clip your any kind of stray twigs off too. But I'm going to do it like this to make that nose kind of smooth. gonna bring that back to the back and wire it off okay there's a little piece that fell out now I have these little short pieces that I'm going to fill in uh, the ear with So I'm going to take my paddle wire and just attach it to the work with frame. I'm just going to kind of tug on the, you know, just kind of shake it and see if any of this is going to fall off. Now, I need this area up around the head. I need it to be a little bit smoother. So, I'm probably going to, I'm going to take um, the wire and just kind of Make that area around the head, flatten that down a little bit. I'm going to use my paddle wire the same way I did around the nose. Now, I'm going to flip the wreath over, and I'm going to work on it from the back. And I'm going to uh, secure my branches with more. Uh, I'll use the zip ties in any places that I can use them. And then when I need to attach in places where I don't have a zip tie, where I don't have a twist, I'm going to use these tiny little, um, tiny little black zip ties. I'm placing my zip ties where the branches are secured well to that uh, outer frame, outer wire on the wreath frame. If you have any little pieces that come off, you can always, you know, just re-secure them with a zip tie. 
or if you have any pieces that come off, you might want to just stack a, put them in a stack in case you have to um, fill in a gap somewhere. And I have some loose ones at the top that I have to fill in, and I'm just going to kind of put those in to fill in the gap and then flip it over to the back. Secure that with a zip tie. Any long ends that you have of your branches like this, uh, you can cut those off, or if you rather, which is what I'd rather do, I'm just going to try securing them uh, somewhere with a twist tie or um, with a zip tie. Now, our ties that we have along the outer, uh, around the, which would be the main portion of the horse, we're not going to worry so much about our edges right there because we're going to put in some longer branches that's going to cover that up a little bit. It's this inside area that we want to be pretty smooth. I have a little place right there, right under the chin, that I need to cover up. And I'm going to use this little little short piece that I had left over. Okay, now I've got that little chin area covered up better. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to take my twist ties that are on the work with frame, that are showing and I'm going to put those to the inside just to get them out of the way. You can smooth those out more after you after you finish up too. We're going to use these longer uh, pine needle uh, spray for our mane. And what I did, I, I took two sprays and I just I snipped off the shortest uh, shortest couple of limbs. And uh, now I'm down to. You just, it all depends on, I guess, how this is going to fit on there. It's where we're going to cut these. But they're just a little easier to work with if you cut those longer stems off. They just kind of, sprays are kind of hard to cut. But we're going to position them along the... Uh, outer portion here and we're going to kind of pull the pine needles to where they're hanging down you know like for the main we'll take the shorter pieces that we cut and we'll hang them off the front uh, for the bangs but what we'll do next before we put the um, long pine needle on and we'll make our little halter have this jute wire jute roping for that and i think you know you could probably just use it uh, just one strand you know would be okay but what i think i'm going to do is try braiding a couple of pieces and uh, let's see We just need about maybe eight inches of a braid there. Um, I'm gonna try braiding three pieces just to see how that looks. do that, I'm just going to take um, some of the floral wire and just go around that end.
and just do a three-way braid. My ends never come out the same when I braid. Just take another little piece of wire and go around that end. go around the nose of the horse we'll just put that on there bring it to the back flip that over just gonna wire that together That's fairly heavy gauge wire that's in that roping, so I'm going to take that end of that wire and just bend it to the inside. Okay, now we need a little straight piece that goes down the side, and then we'll need a little piece that, I think we need another piece that will go over in front of the ear. I'm going to braid another piece to go along this way and it'll go over it'll go behind the ear. Now this piece needs to be needs to curve under that first little piece. So I'm going to put it under there and see if I can attach it from the back side. You just have to work your fingers through there and find your wire ends. Now I'm just going to wire it into the <laughs> wire on the first piece. You may find a better way to do this too. I have used just burlap ribbon before and just tied it together on the back side. But now, okay, so now we've got, got a little muzzle and then we're going to take this piece up and tie it, secure it behind the ear. And we'll wire that right to the work wreath frame. Now I think we need one more little piece to go in front of the ear. Okay, so we attached this short piece in front of the ear, and then this long piece behind the ear. Now, I think we'll work on attaching our short uh, pieces uh, in front of the ear for the bangs. So, first thing I'm gonna do is just gonna lay a couple of pieces up there to get a look of um, a feel of how many it's going to take. I have about four short pieces, so that may be enough. And to make them lay down, of course you can bend those a little bit, 
but we'll probably need to secure those in more than one place to the frame. Next, I'm gonna lay the longer limbs down the back of the neck here and just, just get an idea of how that's going to look. I'm gonna to have to take the longer stem and kind of poke it to the inside or put it on the back side. It'll be easier if we lay one down from the longer part and then we can take the other one and kind of lay on top of it and that'll help cover it up. I'm just using my twist ties along the outside of the work wreath. I'm not going to secure everything too much just yet until I see how, how it's going to lay. I think it's going to take three full sprays uh, to get the kind of coverage that we want. And when you flip the wreath over to the back, if you have any sprays where you can see they're not connected good, you can just always attach those with a, a zip tie. Tiny little zip ties will be your friends on this wreath, but just take your short pieces and uh, fashion your mane. Fasten, fashion your bangs and just after you get them secured kind of go back and get them give them a little tug and make sure you know nothing's going to pull out now next we're going to do uh, I've laid down two longer pieces and secured those with a zip tie and now I'm going to go back in and fill in some shorter pieces This third spray, I'm just going to go ahead and cut all these uh, limbs off of it and just use them as individual limbs. Now we're going to use these shorter pieces to just make that mane fuller and make it um, drape over to the side more. So I'm just going to kind of just kind of lay them in there right now just to see how that's going to look. But that's going to add much more fullness to that mane. Okay. And then I'm just going to flip it over to the back side and see where I need to secure it. And I'm going to secure that of those little extra limbs with a zip ties. So you may have to hang it up on the wall uh, to get your uh, mane to you know position like you want it to, but those are all wired limbs so you can just move those. Uh, and to you may want to um, define this area under the neck a little smoother and to do that you can just flip it over to the back and uh, continue to use a little zip ties to make those branches lay in there a little flatter if you need them to. And next I have three of these little western ornaments, a hat, horseshoes, and a boot. They're just Christmas ornaments with a jute string and I'm going to um, just take the tags off and I'm going to add these in. Put them in like three different places and I'll just take that burlap string and push it through to the back and tie that straight in uh, to the work wreath frame.
Well, there's our horse after we finished him. He measures about 25 inches in height, uh, 22 inches or so in width. We added in the little metal uh, horseshoe ornaments, boots, and a hat, and took our remaining roping and just uh, wrapped it around the little nose piece here and brought it over here, made a few loops, and then secured this uh, to the work wreath frame. Now, when you finish your wreath, you'll always want to flip it over to the back and uh, check for any kind of sharp edges. We've used a lot of zip ties and we, when you snip those off it will leave a sharp edge and if you have any that um, might scratch your wall just kind of twist them to the inside and always check on this particular wreath uh, you know just kind of tug on your uh, branches and make sure you have them secured okay. Alright? Thanks for dropping in. We hope you'll share our video with your friends and there's a little button, a little icon to the right of your screen where you can subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Facebook and Pinterest too. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.